Hello, my beautiful people. Sweet Teddy J coming back at you. I hope you guys can see I was on the phone doing a live with Chat and Chew. I love this woman right here. But I was making up this cake for my uh, cousin's daughter's graduation. And it's just my typical everyday sweet and, um, sour cream pound cake, which y'all can see. I already took a slice out of it because... The party was yesterday, and I wasn't feeling well, so I just said, oh, okay, you know, they'll have their party and go on. But my cousin called me today <laughs> and said that um, I could bring the cake over today, if I, if I could bring the cake over today. So here I am. I'm getting ready to slice it up and sprinkle some uh, powdered sugar on it. And then that's pretty much it. I'm just going to... Uh, Make nice big slices in it. Oh, I'm tired, y'all. I thought sure I was going to have me some cake, y'all. <laughs> I already had one slice. Hi, everybody. Blessed Sunday. But yeah, I thought I was going to have me some cake. I thought I was going to take mom over some and even give my neighbor some. But hmm, they called for that cake today. So I'm getting ready to slice it up, put some um, powdered sugar on it, and then I'm going to take it over and drop it off to their house so i thought i'd just put the camera on and let you guys see what i do okay so let's check this out oh boy oh boy oh boy i just got comfortable too y'all and i was like i got her text i was like up oh. i had a feeling they were gonna call for that cake Ooh, i thought my tripod was falling hold on let me just get her up so she can see y'all can see that and i make very nice size um slices you know not them little itty bitties and i actually like when i slice the cake up like this it serve you get more servings out of it because people be greedy trying to cut them big chunks and i also can steal a couple of slices from it without anybody knowing <laughs> not that i need this cake you know but jesus you know it's so hard when you make this cake it's so delicious yummy yum 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 so I am going to take out a couple of slices for myself and I will have to make my mom up one when I make when I get paid next week and I make another cake so all I do is just take a couple of pieces put that to the side and then I'm just going to take these layers and open them up like this. Oops, let's see. Didn't cut that all the way through. <sighs> and just pretty much just open her up. Spread the layers out. And this will serve more people this way. As opposed to people being all greedy and taking big chunks. As I've seen it done, honey. That's why I started learning how to slice it up. So, I got my little little strainer here that I bought the three set from the Dollar Tree and I use this middle one to just put some powdered sugar in here and just sprinkle it on the cake if your if your powdered sugar comes out clumpy just take your fingers and go in there and just push it out that's all and then I sprinkle it over top of the whole cake <laughs> get on in there in the middle Sometimes you have to go and lift them up just so you can get the powdered sugar on a whole slice of cake. And it was a graduation party for my uh, my cousin's daughter's daughter. <laughs> so this is my first cousin, her daughter's daughter. So I don't know which what makes... Uh, well, she's my son's, no, because Chanel and my son are second cousins. So she's my third cousin. Okay. So, I take this. I was going to make some homemade um, buttercream, but I just don't feel like doing that. I just don't feel like doing it. I don't. I don't. Now I'm going to take a wet paper towel. Can you guys see this? See how it looks? All that powdered sugar on there. Oh. Got a little piece here that could use some. Because I was listening to my Angie Stone uh, 
CD a few minutes ago and, and I saw his chat and Chew was on live and I was like, oh no, I gotta hear my girl. So, um, yeah, I was gonna make some homemade buttercream, but I chose not to because I still gotta come home and cook my dinner. So I said no. So we're gonna clean up the outside of the cake plate from the powdered sugar. You know, presentation is everything. So we wanna, you could take your little pastry brush and brush it off on the counter if you want. However you wanna clean that up. Sometimes it's just easier if you just take the pastry brush and get everything off the sides. And like I said, it was a graduation party that they had yesterday, but I didn't go to it because I was having some inner ear in my right ear. I was having some uh, equilibrium issues, which I've been having ever since I had spinal meningitis. So that right ear was damaged when I had meningitis and it was the viral, not the bacteria, but it damaged my right ear. So I can't hear as well out of that ear as I can out of the left ear. And it causes me to have, um, off balance equilibrium like if I turn around too fast I'll get dizzy and lightheaded when I go to take a step I feel like I'm stepping down <laughs> further than what it is so plus it was raining it was you know murky out yesterday I didn't feel like going out so, and it was an outside party so you know I wasn't trying to go and get eaten up by those mosquitoes so anywho we're going to see what we have in my little arsenal of cake stuff because this is why I actually wanted to put some buttercream on it. Just a little dollop of buttercream so I could sit my, um, my, ooh, my little graduation decorations around it. But I'm just going to sit them in the cake and let them take them off because I really, you know, it's just not that serious. Graduation's over. She's graduated. It's good. So I got these little like graduation hats that I had and I'm just gonna position them somewhere, you know, in the cake and just see if I can just put them. I don't even know if it's necessary to do this, but I thought I would position them somewhere in the cake so it could look like a graduation cake. But if I had a had buttercream, I could have just squirted some dollops on there and just sat them right on top of the buttercream. But that's okay. We're just going to put it in there like that. And we're going to show you what it looks like because the other stuff really needs to go on the outside. But those are the little black graduation hats that I put on here. I did have some scrolls. This is my little cake kit, cake um, box that I always have. But I don't know what happened to the scrolls. I did have some, some scrolls. So... But anyway, guys, there goes my phone again. That is my little <laughs> decorated graduation sour cream pound cake. And I'm going to take this over real quick and deliver it to them. And I might, might do a Dollar Tree stop. I don't know. It hasn't started raining yet. It looks like the sun is trying to come out, but we'll see. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm sorry I forgot to put that big light on so you guys could really see the cake. But I didn't have any decorations to actually like stick on there except for those two little hats. So I did find some stickers and I was able to decorate the outside of the cake case which I think she'll like. It says, congrats, way to go grad, you did it. And a um, graduation hat and then it says, um, hats off to the grad so I hope you guys can see this but I didn't realize I didn't have my light on until I got right to the very end but that is what it looks like I think she'll like that that's pretty cute for a pinch right all right guys I'll talk to you guys later bye hello my beautiful people sweet Teddy J coming back at you if you hear anything it is the AC because it is hot as a witch's tip out here today. Now yesterday it was in the 70s, but it rained all day. Today, I haven't seen any rain yet, but it's a cloudy overcast. 
and it's 85 degrees out here. So I know you can't see the tent, but on my thing you can see where it says 85 degrees. Of course, my car is hot because the windows were closed. So let's see what it drops down to. But I'll come back on in a few minutes. But let me take this cake over to my cousin real quick. Bye, y'all. Okay. I don't know if my camera's going to stay. I have it in one of the little cup holders. I hope you guys can see me. But it's so cloudy out here. I got on my Parver sunglasses today, guys. I don't wear them very often because they're so, you know, nice. But when I went to New York, I passed them around and let all my girlfriends look through them and they were like amazed balls. I never did go online and see what the um, regular price of them are. I have to do that. But uh, I got them in my last Miss Vaughn box. So, um, but these glasses are amaze balls. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm just like, everything is so crystal clear. Is this what luxury feels like? <laughs> I don't remember, it's been so long. <laughs> but I'm gonna run this cake over to um, my, my cousin's house because they are waiting for it, which I don't mind. That's a compliment to me, so it means they like my cake. Forgive my large girth here. <laughs> I've always wanted these, but now I don't. <laughs> Ooh, look at that old man on that motorcycle. So, um, yeah. I just figured I'd get out and get a little bit of fresh air. Sorry guys, I'm turning corners so I didn't want the camera to... I didn't know if it was going to... It's leaning up, so it's pretty good. Can you guys see me? I hope so. Oh, there I am. Hi! Yeah, so uh feels good just to get out and get a little bit of fresh air because I had no idea that it was this hot out. So, tell you, uh, it's really weird sometimes the difference between the temperature in your home and when you come outside. Because I have my AC on, so, you know, I kept having to turn the thing up and down because one minute I would be freezing and the next minute I would be sweating. But I finally settled on 75 and just left it there. But I am heading out to go see, I hope they don't have a house full of people or I'm just going to blow the horn so she can come out here and get this cake because I don't feel like dealing with a lot of, a lot of people right now. My ear and my, um, my dizziness and lightheadedness is still bothering me. So not as much as it was yesterday because, um, sometimes it'll be a combination of the right in the ear imbalance and you know all the meds that I take so sometimes it's just me being tired I don't really know but it's not severe or anything it's just enough to make me feel a little dizzy lightheaded a little nauseous sometimes especially when I turn around too fast like when I took a shower to, um, a few minutes ago and I was getting dressed and stuff and I just spin around too quickly I guess and I got a little lightheaded and I had to go whoa you know like so anyway but I'm enjoying these par bars y'all I know I'm just chitty chatter chatter box but it's a Sunday I have to keep myself busy you know I'm going past my favorite Dollar Tree so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna stop by on my way back I probably will y'all know I will right <laughs> But I'm not going to buy anything. I'm on a low buy right now until I get paid next week or this week coming up. And so I'm on a low buy and I'm going to keep it that way. But I can always go in and take pictures. Y'all see it over there? It's over there. Y'all see the doll Troy? She's over there. <laughs> so yeah, I have to go past her to get to my cousin's house and I have to come back this way. Ooh, that air is cold now. All right, I guess I can turn that down. Can y'all hear me a little bit better? So, anyway, I will talk to you guys when I come back. If I go into the Dollar Tree, I'll bring y'all with me. Okay, bye guys. All right, you guys. I was going to go to the Dollar Tree, but my cousin may be coming and sit down and talk with her and my auntie. And now it is raining <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna feel like 
going to the Dollar Tree or not. But if not, I'll make another trip tomorrow. But they said it's supposed to rain all week long, y'all. It is just like the mosquitoes are walling out because of all this rain. I can barely even go out on my patio without, you know, something on, some kind of mosquito repellent on because hoo, 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 these mosquitoes are walling out. I mean, they eating you and they them big black ones too. Mm, leaving knots on my arm and leg and stuff. <laughs> but I'm going to probably just go straight home because yeah, it is seriously raining, but I'll do another Dollar Tree walkthrough later on, guys. Bye. Okay, family. I just put my open my umbrella and came by. I couldn't resist. I am here, but I'm not seeing too much of anything new. Um, they got a lot of washi tape in here, but I'm not really a washi tape person. I think these might be new. I haven't seen. Ugh. There we go. I'm in the Dollar Tree dropping these pencils, longest leads available, and they're by a um, brand name called Papermate. And they have different colors in them. So that might be new. I hadn't seen these. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know how every time you touch something in the Dollar Tree, it falls. So. And seeing too much new stuff here or there or anywhere. There's my Fancy Nancy. They have another book out, but I've been trying to find her. I have this book already, but they have another one out that I've been trying. I've been on the lookout for, but I haven't seen it yet. When I did see it, I didn't get it. So, y'all know how that is. That's my fault. These are cute. Can y'all see these? They're really cute, but they're raised the raised ones okay I'm not gonna spend too much time in here because I still gotta go home and cook my Sunday dinner because I'm getting getting a little hungry now so get lost in this world I think I showed those before yeah I showed all those before these are nice smelling too they got the small magnets out that they have for Mother's Day um, Mother's Day weekend, but I haven't seen any of the really newer ones that I've been seeing on other people's hauls. These are cute, but they're not new, so. Um, they got a whole palette, a whole U-boat. I always say palette. They have a whole U-boat of stuff here that needs to be taken out, but I don't see anything new. I got these, I showed y'all these before. I got a couple of them already. Somebody got all these lit up. Look at it. I bet you it's one of them kids did that. <laughs> <sighs> they got all of them all lit up. People gonna come and buy them things and they gonna be dead. They'll be dead already. Um there's some vanilla icing here, but I don't no, I don't need that. My sugar is already too high. Alright guys. Well I'm not really seeing much of anything today. So um I'll be back. Okay, yeah, uh, looks like they restocked. The pink flamingo. I think that's a flying unicorn. Toucan. And I really like those blue ones, but I still don't know what they are. I think they're doggies. I like these unicorns right here too. But they restock that stuff. They still got the plates or the plaques in the marble finish. Family is forever. I don't know what they're doing with all these little clothespins, but it's 50 pieces. I don't know what they're supposed to be doing. I guess DIYs or crafting. And they still have a lot of this stuff left over. And I wanted to get um, some more of these donuts, but I was thinking about the sprinkles, but I wanted the um, 
the chocolate. <laughs> I wanted the chocolate topping with the sprinkles. They, I got that one already. But that's kind of, I guess all they have. I really love this, but I don't need it. Alright, guys. Um, so far, that's all I see on the little shelf. Look at that big thing of hot sauce, y'all. Botanero, Botanero. Holy macaroni for a dollar. Wow. All right, come back in a minute. I got some of the new pens in, y'all. The like sprinkly like unicorns with the butterflies. I've seen them on, I think it was Brown Eyes on a Budget or Pretty and Flawed um, Dollar Tree Hauls. But they got them in all different colors. They got yellow, purple, um, red, blue. So they got a lot of the red ones over there. They got pink. So they're pretty cute. They're not on the top of my on the top of my list to collect, but I wish I had bought the ones that I already had in my hand up there in New York. I'm such a nerd. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the novelty pens that they have. They still have some of the unicorn glittery ones. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.